Are you getting ready to take the Praxis Core math exam? That's exam code 5733. My name is Anjali Couture and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com. In this video, we're going to walk through three sample number and quantity problems from this exam so that you're confident on exam day. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with our first problem. It reads that a town council budgeted $15,000 for park renovations. If 75% of the budget was used, how much of the budgeted money for park renovations was not used? So whenever I'm doing word problems, I like to underline or highlight the key parts so I know what the problem has given me and what I'm solving for. So it tells us that the budget was $15,000 and 75% of that was used. The question is asking us what was not used or how much of the budget was left over. So now let's take these words and put it into more of a math problem. So 75% of the budget was used. When we see of, we want to think multiplication, and we know that the budget is $15,000. So that represents the money that was used. <clears throat> To figure out what was left over or not used, we have to think about what is the remaining percentage. And we have 25% of that budget remaining. So 25% times that 15,000 is going to tell us what was not used or what was what money is left over. So to solve this problem, now we need to take that percentage and convert it to a decimal so we can plug it into our calculator. So we would write 25% as 0.25 as a decimal times 15,000, and that's going to give us our answer. So when we plug that into our calculator, we see that the answer is 3,750. So let's go back up to our answer choices and find our answer. We can see that the correct answer is letter C, $3,750 remains. All right, so let's get into our second problem. At a grocery store, Mary bought 15 lemons for 30 cents each, 10 pears for 50 cents each, six pineapples for $1.20 each, and a pumpkin for $5. What was the total cost for these purchases? So this is kind of like when we go to the grocery store and we're going through our shopping list, we could utilize these skills to figure out what our weekly grocery cost is gonna be or whatever it might be, right? So to do this problem, we need to do a little bit of multiplication and addition to get the sum or the total total cost. So. We have 15 lemons for 30 cents each, 10 pears for 50 cents each, six pineapples for $1.20 each, and one pumpkin for $5. When we add up all of those things, we're gonna get our total cost. So we'll plug that into our calculator, making sure we do the multiplication before the addition, right? That's why I put them in parentheses. And when we do that, we get our answer, which is $21.70. So if we go back to our answer choices, we can see that letter E is the correct answer. The total cost for these purchases was $21.70. All right, so let's go through our third and final problem in this video. It's again a word problem, so let's utilize what we've been learning to apply it to this problem and solve it. So a water pump can fill a tank at a constant rate of 15 gallons per minute. If the tank is initially empty, how many minutes will it take to fill the tank to 180 gallons of water? So 
what we're trying to solve for is how many minutes it's going to take. And we've been given several bits of information so that we can indeed solve that problem. So I'm going to use a proportion to write out this rate. The problem tells us that the water pump fills the tank at a constant rate of 15 gallons per minute. So I wrote that as a fraction so that I can utilize this rate to figure out how do we get to, how quickly can we get to 180 gallons. So again, I'm going to put the gallons on the top and the minutes on the bottom, and we'll just have to cross multiply. So we know that we're going to do 180 times 1 divided by 15. So we plug into our calculator the following. 180, you could do times 1 if you want to, divided by 15. And that's going to give us our answer of how many minutes it takes. So when we plug in that 180 essentially divided by 15, we see that our answer is 12 minutes. So let's go back up to our answer choices. And what do we see? The correct answer is B, 12 minutes. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, you can check out our other videos here on YouTube and make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of different practice problems like the ones we just did together now, plus test taking strategies and targeted instruction to help you do as well as possible come exam day. Finally, we want to hear from you, so let us know down below in the comments if there are any other topics you want us to cover, and if you found today's video helpful, please like and subscribe. Good luck and happy studying!